I'm Brian Borneman. This is Crudo y Nudo. We're in Santa Monica, California. So crudo is inspired by pesce crudo from southern Italy, where you take fish and you just dress it simply sashimi style with olive oil and salt. But went to Italy for the first time when I was like 17, had a really positive experience and I grew up in LA thinking I hated Italian food. Anyway, had to go back to Italy a few more times and found my way into kitchens. Butchery was always like a focus for me. Whole local animals, also local fish. And over time, through different menus, I got to focus more and more on seafood, more and more specifically on raw seafood. I chose to do crudo in general because I just love being by the beach. I love eating raw food. I love eating stuff that's very cooling. Like for us, like raw fish and veggies is just how we want to eat all the time. Growing up here, it just always like was amazing to me that the only seafood we had along PCH was either directly imported from Japan or like an East Coast clam shack thing that used Maine lobster. Like always from as far away as possible. So we saw an opportunity to do something, uh, in this case, crudo. When it came to that, it was just like clear, we only want to use local fish. There wasn't really an abundance of like really high quality stuff that was like handled well, delivered well, um, until pretty recently. So five years ago, and even more so three years ago, we started to have a couple of people who really knew how to do ikijime, how to like handle fish well locally. All those details show like it's just super specific and super important. And then when it comes to us, we have to sukibiki or like scale each fish with a knife. Those traditional like fish scalers or scrapers send scales everywhere. They create a bunch of micro abrasions in the skin and therefore let in bacteria. By scaling it with a knife, it's much cleaner. You don't have to like wash your whole situation with tap water. So our fish never see tap water. From there, we hang them by the tail so that any remaining blood can drip out of the head. And from there, they can age depending on the type of fish, a week, two weeks, three weeks and we are lucky enough to work with fish that just age beautifully, they don't get fishy, they like mature with time, and it's amazing. You know, fish should never taste fishy, and mitigating all the steps that could make that happen is a lot of work. Our whole goal has been to go to fishermen and be like, what do you got and what do you need? We'll figure out the rest. This is about making local sustainable proteins something that is so craveable and so like amazing that you have to have more of it. Creating demand for things like cultured abalone, for things like vermilion rockfish, stuff that on most menus have no place whatsoever. Not just a high level eight seat tasting menu style place and actually do it on like a scale that it feels more like accessible, more approachable. That is something that makes the general public more aware of local fish. And that's what we're trying to do.